We're ready to go. Shabbat Shalom, everyone, and welcome. What an amazing evening we're going to have together tonight. We have our joyful sound of Klezmer Shabbat, and we have our Klezmorim here, Jordan and Jeff, and the cantor are going to be leading us in a wonderful, joyful musical evening. But even more joy, if Klezmer isn't enough, is that we are celebrating with the Walsh family this Shabbat as Rebecca becomes Bat Mitzvah. And I know she's been working so hard and anticipating this day for a long time. So let's get started. We're going to begin our service on page 120, 120 with Hadlakata Nerot, with the kindling of the Shabbat lights. And I would like to invite our Bat Mitzvah and her family to come and lead us in the lighting of the candles. Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our light, give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled the light, so may we, in our own day, be among those who kindle light. Share Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav, B'sivanu B'adlikinei Shel Shabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, Sovereign of the Universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to kindle the lights of Shabbat. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam. Shano bamitz fatav, vitzivanu lechad liknev, lechad liknev shel shabbat. Shabbat shalom, everyone. We're going to join our voices together. You'll, you'll pick up the melody. It's, it's, uh, we've got some lo a lovely melody. You sing some familiar words too. And you will find those familiar words on page 128 and 129. 
Let's begin. I guess we join our voices together and welcome Shabbat right in our midst, singing together. Welcome to the Shabbat Bride, Lechadodi. You will find the words on page 138 and page 139. <laughs> Kala, 
If you're able, we rise. We turn to face our entrance door and welcome Shabbat in our midst. Oh, Eva Shalom, a terret ba'ala, gamma simcha u'betzola, tuch amonei amsegula, ba'wi chala u'li. Page 140 from Psalm 92. Ms. Moshir Liom HaShabbat Tov Lehadot Ladonai Lezamer Lashimcha Elion Lehagid Baboker Chastecha Vemircha Balelot Leasor Vale Nava Ale Higayon Bechinor. It is good to praise Adonai, to sing hymns to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your steadfast love at daybreak, your faithfulness each night with a ten-string harp, with voice and lyre together. You have gladdened me by your deeds, Adonai. I shout for joy at your handiwork. How great are your works, Adonai. How very subtle your designs. A brute cannot know. A fool cannot understand this. The righteous bloom like a date palm. They thrive like a cedar in Lebanon. Planted in the house of Adonai, they flourish in the courts of our God. In old age, they still produce fruit. They're full of sap and freshness, attesting that Adonai is upright, my rock in whom there is no wrong. Turning to page 144, again, if you are able, we invite you to please rise for the Chatzin Kaddish. Yikadal ve yidkadash me raba, be almadi vrah yerute ve yamli malhute, be chaye chon of yo me chon, of chaye de chol bet Yisrael, bagala bagala, of his man kari ve imeru, amen. Yehesh me raba me vorach, le ala mulal me almaya, yit barak, yit barak, ve yishtabach, vit pa arvit rambam, ve yit nase, ve yit hadar, ve yit ale, ve yit alal, shame de kudeshabarifu. Le elam in kol birhata, ve shihirata, Tush bechata venechemata, dami iran bealma veimeru, amen. Yai la la, yai la 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 la. Yai la la, yai la 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 la. Barhu et Adonai
Baruch Ata Anai Eloheinu Melah Halam Asher Bidvaro Ma'ariv Aravim Bechokma Poltea Ach Sha'arim Uvit Funa Meshene Itim Uchma Umachalif et Hasmanim Unsadir et Hakohavi Bemish Merotehem Berakira Kirtsono Bere Yom Valala Galel Or Mipine Hose Behosa Mipine Or Uma Avir Yom Uve Laila Umavdil ben yom uvin laila, anai se avot shamo, el chai vekayam tamid yim, locha aleon lam lamba et baruchata adonai, hama ariva ravi. Mitzvot, hokim, o mishpatim, o tano lemad etav. Al ken Adonai alohenu b'shokteinu, o v'komenu nasiach b'divrei, b'chuket toratecho mitzvotecha. Le'olam v'ayen, ki chem ha'yenu, Please be seated. Bea hafta et Adonai Elohecha, behol of a ha, ubehol nefshaha, ubehol meudeha, bea you had varim ha ele, asher anochi matevecha, hayo malavanecha, bishin of tam levanecha, bidi bartabam, bishif techa, vivetecha, uvletacha, badere, ukshok. Uvkumeha Ukshatam Leod Al Yadecha Behayu Lefa Totot Bene Necha Uf Ukhartam Al Mazuzot Betecha Uvisharecha Leman Tiskaru Viasitem Et Kolmis Votai Behiem Kedoshim Lelochim Ani Adonai Lohehem Asher Hazidi Etem Meeretz Mitzrayim Leot lechem lohim, ani Adonai lochechem, Adonai lochechem, amet. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before we ever stood at Sinai's foot. That wherever we go, it is eternal Egypt, and that there is a better place, a promised land that is that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness. There is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands and marching together. <laughs> Mika 
ما خانه در با کودش لارو تهی لاد و سه فهله و سه به فهله Malchut chara uvane chabukei Dayam lihifnei Moshe ubiria Zeli anu veyameru Adonai imloch leolam Nemar kedar onayet Yaakov gelom yad chazak mimenu baruch atar onay gal Yisrael. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. Baruch atah Adonai, haporei sukkat shalom aleinu, ve'al kol amo Yisrael, ve'al Yerushalayim. Ve'shamru v'nei Yisrael, et ha-shabbat, la-asot et ha-shabbat, Israel when we take a deep breath and we sigh out the week that was. <sighs> Even the accordion does it. We sigh in the beautiful rest to come this Shabbat. Shabbat oh. On page 164, 164, please rise if you're able. <laughs> 
na 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 svatai tifta na 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 ofi agir ofi agir te hilate ha na 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 donai na 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 svatai tifta Na 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 na, ofi agi, ofi agi, te hilate ha. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu, v'Elohe avoteinu ve'imoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha El Hagadol, Hagipur ve'Hanora, El El Yom. Gomel chasadim tovim v'konei hakol v'zocher hasdei avot ve'imachot u'mevi geula l'vnei v'neihem l'ma'an shemo ve'ahava melech hozer u'moshia u'magen baruch ata Adonai magen Avraham ve'ezrat Sarah. Atagi bor leolam Adonai, mechaye hakol atarav lechoshia, mashivaru hakomori id hagashem, mechalkel chayim vechesed, mechaye hakol berachamim rabim, so met no flim virofe holim, o matir asurim. O mekayem emunato lishene afa mi chamocha baal gevurot o mi dom elach melech memid u mekaye o matzmiak Yeshua v'neman atala hachayot hakol. Baruch ata Adonai mechayecha kol. Ata kadosh v'shim chal kadosh u'kdoshim b'chol yom yechalu chasela. Baruch ata Adonai ha'el ha'kadosh. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Ata Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. You are with us in our prayer, our love, and our doubt. In our longing you to feel your presence and do your will. You are the still clear voice within us. Therefore, O oh God, when doubt troubles us, when anxiety makes us tremble, when pain clouds the mind, we look inward for the answer to our prayers. There's, there may we find you, and there find courage, insight, and endurance, and let our worship bring us closer to one another, uh, that all Israel and all who seek you may find new strength for your service. Baruch ata Adonai, she'ot ha'levatcha, ve'yirah na'avot. God of goodness, we give thanks. Thanks for the gift of life, wonder beyond words, for the awareness of soul, our light within. 
for the world around us, so filled with beauty, for the richness of the earth, which day by day sustains us, for all these and more we offer thanks. Baruch atah Adonai, Let us all take this moment for silent personal prayer. Oh, say shalom, bim Roma. going to turn in our seat room now to page 371, page 371 for the Mishaberach, the prayer for healing. Mishaberach avotenu v'imotenu avraham yitzak v'yakov sararuv karachal v'leo hu yivarech v'yirapeh at the cholim. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and heal those who are ill at this time. And as we pray to God for healing, we mention Lenore Sorger, Miriam Dove, Emily Appel, Laura Katari, Frida Ravkina, Mikhail Ravkin, Gladys Mosley, Barry Pekulis, Loriana Fell, Philip Shamas, Anna Herman, Mayor Burstor, Ora Markstein, Audrey Kusin, Naomi Levy, Vladimir Gutkin, Callum Denote, Hanabat Shoshana,
Carter Rosenbaum, Ron Berenbaum, Ron Weiss, and Sheila Levitt. A Kaddish Baruch Hu, may the Blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for their health to be restored and their strength to be revived. May God swiftly send them a complete renewal of body, mind, and spirit. And we say together, Amen. Amen. Mi sheber alchavotenu mikor habracha laemotenu may the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. <speaking in Hebrew> Bless those in need of healing with Rafua Shalema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. And we offer a prayer for those being held captive in Gaza. Our God, the one who raised Joseph up from the pit, be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Send complete rescue and full redemption to those held captive by the enemy. Strengthen their spirit and bring them our prayers that they be protected from all harm. And plant understanding in the heart of the enemy that they may return the captives in wholeness of body and spirit. Grant wisdom to the Israel Defense Forces that they may secure freedom for the captives without loss of life. Grant strength of spirit and courage of heart to all the sons and daughters of Abraham, Sarah, and Hagar to release bonds of captivity and allow us all to live in freedom. They shall call upon me and I will answer them. I will be with them in distress and I will rescue them and honor them. And we say together, Amen. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I've been thoroughly enjoying the music. Jordan, Jeff, thank you. Cantor, thank you. But I have to tell you, this was a real sort of challenge. I've been rocking my brain all week about how to connect this week's Torah portion with klezmer music. I mean, our Torah portion, Tazria, deals with childbirth and flaky white skin inf infections and discharges and <laughs> all kinds of stuff. And, and really, right there in the middle of the book of Leviticus, Tazria is primarily concerned with issues of ritual purity and impurity. If you have any of these things, you're in a state of impurity, if you don't have them, then you are pure, which basically means you can participate with the life in the ritual life of the community. But then, how do you connect all of that with this freilich, joyful, upbeat music of our tradition? And then it finally occurred to me the answer to my quandary is in the very name of the music itself. Klezmer, Klei Zemer, which appears numerous times in Leviticus and all over the Psalms and all over other places. Because you see, the, the Klezmer is the Yiddishization of the original biblical Hebrew word, clay, meaning tools or implements or, or uh, or instruments, implements, instruments, and zemmer, melody, instruments of melody, 
leading to Clay Zimmer basically meaning musical instruments. And why is the Torah talking about musical instruments? Because back in ancient times, especially when the temples stood, all of those sacrificial offerings and all of the worship life that took place in the temple was accompanied by orchestral music. You had Levites who served in an orchestra playing clay zemer to accompany the rituals. There was klezmer music in the ancient temple. And it wasn't until the destruction of the second temple in 70 of the common era that many rabbis argued or discouraged musical instruments be used in synagogues as a sign of mourning for the loss of the temple. In the reform movement, we have certainly reintroduced instruments into our synagogues, but it's fascinating to imagine what it would have been like in ancient temple with this kind of music perhaps being played on instruments. So clay zemer, musical instruments, klezmer music. And klezmer music as we know it is a primarily instrumental musical tradition of the Ashkenazi Jews of Central and Eastern Europe developed in the late Middle Ages. The first reference to it, I think, is around 1565 or something like that. And the essential elements of this musical tradition include dance tunes, ritual melodies, chazanut and nigunim, and often virtuosic, virtuosic, virtuoso musical <laughs> improvisations. <laughs> These would have been played at weddings and other social functions, particularly in the shtetl. Think about the wedding scene in Fiddler on the Roof before the Cossacks came and interrupted everything. It's a robust, usually upbeat, but sometimes somber musical style that spoke to the challenges of living a Jewish life in those days. It gave voice to the need to celebrate. It was freilich music, it was joyful music, but it also represented a certain musical fusion and cross-cultural impact, which drew not only on Jewish musical forms, but also incorporated Ottoman, Romanian, Slavic, Roma musical styles, even some Baroque music, a unique amalgamation of the music of the Jewish community with the music of the surrounding cultures. And after Klezmer music arrived in the United States, it lost some of its traditional ritual elements, but adopted elements of American big bands, jazz, popular music, and Yiddish theater and vaudeville. Over time, the usage of the term klezmer in a Yiddish context evolved to describe not just the musical instruments, the klezmer that they were being played on, but it became a term that was used to describe the musicians. This was probably in response to the new status of the musicians who originally, you know, were, were amateurs, couldn't read music, played simply for the love and the joy of the sound. But later on, in response to the new status of musicians who were becoming professionals and forming professional guilds, it became the musicians who were the klezmer. It was not until the klezmer revival in the 20th century that the term came to refer to itself. First to the instruments, then to the players, to the musicians, and then it became the label for the music itself, starting with recordings by the Klezmorim and Andy Statman in the late 1970s. Because of course, if you think about it, 
like so many cultural elements of European Jewish life, after the destruction of Jewish life during the Holocaust, klezmer music virtually disappeared. And in North America, as with Yiddish theater and other aspects of culture dependent upon links to the old country, Klezmer's populated, popularity faded here as well. And it was not to be popularized again until the very late 1970s and 80s. And it was in 1973, while, expo while exploring the string band music of Appalachia, that a young musician and folklorist named Henry Sapoznik was asked whether Jews had their own music. With this simple question ringing in his ear, Henry, the son of a European-born cantor and a deliberate refugee from the Jewish music of his Lubavitch yeshiva days and the Catskill hotels where his family spent Passover vacations, he now turned back to explore his own musical tradition. Beginning with a cache of old records at New York's YIVO Institute for Jewish Research, Sapoznik unearthed the vestiges of European klezmer music already reinterpreted and transformed by modern recording technology. Sapoznik's enthusiasm for his own Jewish music, which he saw now with different eyes, led him to do additional research into klezmer music. He met elderly Jews who had played in klezmer ensembles of the 1920s and on some of the first klezmer recordings by companies like Columbia and RCA Victor. By 1979, Sapoznik had formed uh, a klezmer band called Capella. I'm probably not pronouncing that properly. Is it? Okay, thank you. And they put this band together really just to play a, a one-off concert in Providence, Rhode Island. In 1981, the group enhanced by the clarinetist Andy Statman, Sapoznik's own cantor father and others, they formed their Yiddish caravan a national touring show that performed cantorial selections, Yiddish theater songs, and klezmer music in concert venues across the United States and later on around the world. If you want inspiration for what one single person can do, Henry Sapoznik almost single-handedly revived an entire musical genre that we are enjoying here this evening, 50 years later, 50 years after it was considered dead and gone. And since then, klezmorim have experimented with the traditional forms and fusing klezmer music with jazz, with punk, with Irish stylings and other styles. It's become truly a universal musical form. And while klezmer music is still widely identified as a Jewish musical style here in North America, in Europe and in Asia, it has generally lost that association with the vast majority of klezmer musicians not being in, with not being Jewish. Paul and I attended a klezmer concert in Japan, in Tokyo, with an all Japanese Klezmer band and they were outstanding and they were crazy. <laughs> I could go on and on and on. I could tell you all of the, you know, lyrics got added to Klezmer music and it was all about, you know, songs about drunken rabbis and, and cavorting cantors and all kinds of stuff like that. But, you know, this sort of novelty aspect got added but it's still extraordinary, like so much in our Jewish tradition. There is a real profound lesson to be learned here about klezmer music. Born in the temples of ancient Jerusalem, carried through against religious advice into Central Europe and Eastern Europe, died in the Holocaust and revived by young Jews 
in North America who were, who were inspired by the urban folk mu music revival and who brought this really indigenous European Ashkenazic Jewish music back to life. And that really paints a picture of just the ups and downs, but the continuity that has been maintained in Jewish culture going all the way back to temple times. And here we are celebrating it today in Hamilton, Ontario. Let's hear another Klezmer song. Not all Klezmer songs are happy, joyous, and frolic. There are some with deeper moods. And this is one, you'll hear the word muzzle in it. This is a song about yearning for muzzle. <laughs> Mazul is stent am wohl verjeden, verjeden nor nicht ver mich. Mazul, du bringst da jeden Frieden, ver wos versamst du mein Tier. Das Leben vergeht und kein Hoffnung ist alt nicht Man soll es steht am Ohr feiern, fahr jeden noch nicht bei mir. I invite everyone to rise for the conclusion to our service for Elenu. You'll find the words on page 586, page 586. Alenu le shabeak don ha kol la teit gedu la liot se bereshit shelo asanu kegoye aratzot vila asamanu kamish bahota adama shelo sam chelke nu kahem vegor alenu kechol hamonam va anach nu korim o mishtachavim u modim lifne melech. Malche ham lachim, hakadosh baruchu. Shehu no te shamayim veoset haaretz. O Moshe vikaro pa shamayim imahal. Ushkin aftu so, ushkin aftu so. Begofe meromim. Hu eloheinu enod. Emet vokainu efesulato, kakatu betorato, viadata hayom, viadata hayom, vechashevota eleva vecha, ki adonai hua Elohim, vashamayim imaal, viadha. Me arrets, me tahat, ain old Benemar, the higher Adonai, the Melech al Kol ha arrets, Bayom ha hu, Bayom ha hu, ye Adonai had. O Shemo, O Shemo, O Shemo Echad. Our thoughts turn now to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to all of humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and of death. At this time, we remember Rona Lewinstein, Kimberly Smith, David Curtis, and Marilyn Mark, who all passed away during the last month during Shloshim. 
and those whose yard sighting occurred during this past week, Aaron Armour, Alan Cudlitz, Bryna Gilbert, Chaim Cohen, Charles Goldhar, Francis Kaddish, Gail Burt, Gary Michaels, Ida Hannah Levy, Israel Idi Izzy Elson, Judy Silbert, Lyle Sumner, Murray Cash, and Suzanne Richter. And of course, we remember all those Israelis who were brutally murdered al Kedushat Hashem by the terrorists and the massacre on October 7th, and in those who have perished in the over six months of war that have followed. May the memories of the righteous be for all of us as an abiding blessing as we remember them and we praise God with the words of the Kaddish Atom, the Mourner's Kaddish, on page 598, page 598. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shamei rabah, v'yalma divrach chirutei v'yamlich malchutei, v'chai achon v'yom echon, v'chai e d'chol beit Yisrael, v'agala v'zman kari v'imru amem. Yehei shmei rabah mevarach v'elam omei omaya, yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit romam v'yit nasei, v'yit adar v'yitalei v'yitalal shmei d'kudisha porechu. Le'ela min kol birchata v'shirata, tush b'chata v'nechamata, damiran v'yoma v'imru. Amen. Yehei shlomo rabba mishmaya, v'chaim aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. Ose shalom v'imramav, tu yase shalom, aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. May the source of peace send peace to all those who mourn and comfort to all those who are bereaved among us. And we say it together. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. And I'd now like to invite Mr. Roy Paulington to come share with us some announcements. quite an entrance, Mr. Collington. Thank you, Jordan. Mm -hmm. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Our celebration of Shabbat and of Rebecca Walsh becoming Bat Mitzvah mm -hmm. will continue tomorrow morning. Join with Rabbi Cohen for Torah study at 9 a.m., both online and in person in the library. Our Shabbat morning service will commence at 10.30 a.m. here in the sanctuary. Religious school begins as usual at 9.15 a.m. Passover is just 10 days away. <laughs> we, we are still accepting bookings for our fully catered community Pesach Seder with Rabbi Cohen and Cantor Baruch, which will take place here at the temple on the second night, Tuesday, April 23rd. Tuesday, April 23rd at 6.30 p.m. Contact the temple office to reserve your place at the Seder. Our morning festival, festival morning service for the first day will take place on Tuesday, the 23rd at 10.30 a.m., followed by a festive Pesach Kiddush luncheon. The TAS Social Action Working Group reminds you that while you are shopping for Passover, you can donate kosher food and kosher food for Passover to the Hamilton Kosher Food Bank right at Fortino's. Look for the donation box behind the cash registers. And muzzle, oh, thank you to the Walsh family for blessing the candles this evening. And muzzle tub to Rebecca Walsh and her family on the occasion of her becoming Bat Mitzvah. And thank you to the Walsh family for also support sponsoring the Oneg Shabbat in her honor. And thank you to Jordan Abraham, Jeff Halibka for the wonderful music this evening. Thank you to Norm Eby for managing our streaming equipment and to Rhonda DeHaan for serving as our Zoom host. Your efforts are all greatly appreciated. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.
We were just killing some time until you got back. <laughs> it is now my pleasure to welcome our bat mitzvah girl, Rebecca, back up to the Bema and to invite the president of our Deborah Sisterhood, Michelle Gunn, to come forward to present on their behalf a presentation to the bat mitzvah. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Rebecca, Yasher Koach, you've done so well so far. On behalf of the Devorah Sisterhood, I want to wish you a hearty Mazel Tov as you celebrate your Bat Mitzvah. I'm sure your family, friends, and teachers are very proud of your achievement, and you should be as well. The Devorah Sisterhood has been an integral part of the Temple and Shisholem since its beginning and was the first group of Jewish women organized for charitable purposes in Canada. Our mission is to enhance and support all aspects of temple life, socially, financially, and spiritually. Sisterhood has been presenting bar and bat mitzvahs with a gift for well over half a century. Continuing that tradition, we would like to present you with this gift Spoiler alert, candlesticks. <laughs> we hope the light that shines from these candles on Shabbat and Jewish holidays will remind you of this day and you will look back on it with pride. May the wisdom you've learned studying for your bat mitzvah guide you all your days. And again, mazel tov. Thank you. Do you want to take care? We'll leave it here for now. So, I'll just hope for more music. Oh, there will be. There's a great song after we okay. make Kiddush and Motsi, for sure. Everyone will be dancing. And you know what? Let's, we'd like to invite all the young people to come to Barbara on the stage. You're still a young person. Evelyn. Don't argue with Evelyn. Evelyn. Yes, come on up, Benny. We need friends. Who wants to come up? Come on up. Who wants to come up? Anyone else want to come up? There's challah made by the Walsh family up here. Please rise. Please rise. All right. Uh, so for those of you that haven't been here for a, for a while, um, we have a tradition that started in Zoom only, um, Kitsches where everyone would be holding their glass of wine at home and we all start to sway at a certain point in the song. So when that happens today, you just join in just as if you're on Zoom and we'll see all your faces. It's just like we used to. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Bore peri ha gafen, Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav, Veratzavahanu, Veshabbat kodesho, Veahava uvratzon, Inhilanu, Zikaron lemaase vereshit, Ki hu yom tehila lemikraye kodesh, Zecher letziyat mitzrayim Kivanu vaharta Veotanu kidashta Mikol hamim Veshavat kodshecha Beahava uvrat son in Haltanu Baruch Ata Adonai Mikatesh Hashabbat Amen Lechaim. Oh, sharing with the brother. Love it. Thank you. 
All right. We have delicious challah buns uh, prepared to you by our challah baker, Rhonda Dahan. And we also, we also have a delicious challah baked by the Walsh family. Would you like to hold the board? Oh, oh I know, in a minute. We'll just put the board in your hand. All right. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lechem min haaretz, amen. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Please join us in the Mandel Auditorium for dessert on egg Shabbat. No. Jews? There's a lot of Jews here. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Would you like to rip out some hella there? Hey, you're both wearing green coats. Are you sisters? Nice. Good Shabbos.